We are on the research vessel Zanarka, We're going to head out to the Palos Verdes Peninsula to a location that's in about 70 feet of water. That's where we're looking to work with our abalone today um, in our efforts to reestablish them in the wild. Who gets, who gets the Hawaiian party? It's oh. Been working and building up to this in some series or manner since 2005. Um, and what I expect us to find down there um, is a very cold, receptive environment uh, for our abalone. They are only still this big, so they know that they can't hang out like the adults do on the sides of these rocks. Uh, they have to go into the nooks and crannies inside that reef to protect themselves. What launched the abalone project here in Los Angeles was the kelp restoration project that we've undertaken off of Palos Verdes. Uh, we can't have abalone off of our coast without kelp. It's their food uh, source, so we had to get that back first to prove that we could. So we have revitalized much of the Palos Verdes Peninsula um, and brought that kelp back, and now it's primed to bring in these abalone, and I think it'll actually increase our success. These abalone are some of the most pampered snails in the world. We've taken really good care of them over the first few years of their lives. We check them twice daily. We make sure they have enough food, that their tanks are cleaned, um, that they're, they're happy and healthy because we want to make sure that the ones we're putting out in the ocean are really robust and can help save the species. They're going to face a lot of challenges in the ocean that they didn't have in our lab. They're going to face different temperatures. They have to find their own food. There's going to be predators. And I hope that we've prepared them for that. I hope that we can put enough out there that some of them will be able to withstand these new challenges and contribute to the next generation of wild white abalone. Today was about saving white abalone. It's almost as if these abalone are at the end of a long gestation and today was their birth. It was their first time being in the ocean, their true home. I can't wait to see how this species can flourish again.